We've got self-assisted chin-ups. We like to use these in kind of two cases when an athlete for sure just is not able to do a full body weight chin-up or when we are looking to get more reps out of that athlete. So when we're looking for say 10 to 12 reps of a chin-up and an athlete can only get six on their own, we like to switch to these uh, With these self-assisted chin-ups, we like them for two reasons. One, when an athlete just cannot do a body weight chin-up or when an athlete can't hit the rep goal in body weight, we like to switch to these self-assisted. So how we set this up, you need your bar set up below your collarbones, but not too low that we sit on the floor at the bottom. How we're gonna set up, just like a chin-up, palms are gonna face you, we're then gonna lower ourselves down to the floor. So we're gonna start from the bottom. That way we can get ourselves nice and vertical. We can get a feel for where we're at underneath the bar. And now I'm gonna remain really heavy in the bottom of this. I'm not using my legs to push through. I'm still thinking I am pulling myself to the bar. I'm not gonna stand up. That's why we've got the bar just below the collarbone. So we'll pull to the collarbones, full release, Shoulder blades release, we start, we pull the shoulder blades, elbows follow. So from the back, you can see I start with those shoulder blades, the elbows pull second, and I'm just staying really heavy, focusing on trying to pull as much body weight as possible. Who the fuck put that there? <laughs> 